It felt, I felt like I knew her from the first moment I heard about it. I felt like I, I knew her and I couldn't quite believe it landed my way. The movie works because it, it fuses the extraordinary and the ordinary. You know, it says to you, you can meet an elemental god from a river and you can take it home and put him in the bathtub. Kindness and love are the, are the heartbeat of this film. And you know, Guillermo del Toro himself has called this a fairy tale for troubled times. Guillermo is like a bear hug personified. He is the most generous, gregarious, remarkable whirlwind of an artist I've, I've ever met, probably. I got to tell a, a, a fascinating, beautiful story with a bunch of artists that I deeply admire. It's just something passing through you. I don't know if anything sticks. It's like you're a conduit. At first blush, I knew what he wanted. Um, you know, looking at the script. Uh, you fall in love with Guillermo and he didn't tell me anything about the script exe except that he had written it for me, the role. When I read it, I, I said, oh, I might be able, I, I get this guy, how he treats her in the beginning, how they kind of, he loves her, but he doesn't take her as seriously as he does at the end of the movie. She deaf? Mute, sir, she can hear you. Don't do this, Eliza. What is she saying? Don't do this. Oh God, it's not even human. People communicate so much better without words than they do with them. You always, always want less <laughs> to say. <laughs> and there is the challenge of the practical of the ASL, and, but she's sort of her own thing. She communicates in her own special way, and that just felt like such a joy to sort of discover and a, a gift, really. Right from the get-go, Guillermo del Toro told me, uh, Dougie, I don't want a, a, a Dougie Jones performance. He wanted something real and raw. And that was something different. In, in, a, mon in a fish man suit, very different, <laughs> you know? Watching, the first time she brings the, the record player to the, the, the lab, watching that uh, interplay between Sally and Doug was magical. That's the thing about this movie. Everybody has their own world, and we all happen to get caught up in Eliza's selfishness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, in Eliza's <laughs> need. You know, it's what true friends are for. It's so human. This movie is both a synthesis of everything I did before and completely new. It's a movie that feels intoxicated with cinema and intoxicated with love.